The Shellwalker is one of the 43 machines you can find on your journey in Horizon Forbidden West. While it may initially appear small and feeble, these things pack quite a punch. I'm Noxious, and in this video, I'll cover everything you need to know about the Shellwalker, including its locations, strengths and weaknesses, attacks, overriding, and more. So what is a Shellwalker? The Shellwalker's design is based on a hermit crab, sporting six legs and two arm-like appendages that resemble a crab's pincers, as well as its iconic hexagonal crate that mimics a hermit crab's shell. It may seem obvious, but the Shellwalker is a member of the transport class, originally designed by Gaia and Hephaestus to transport resource crates throughout the cauldron network. The crate itself does not count as a component of the machine. Any damage dealt to it will not directly harm the Shellwalker. The Shellwalker will protect this crate at all costs, even sacrificing some offensive capabilities in order to keep it in place. The Shellwalker uses its arms as its primary offense and defense. Its right arm is equipped with a claw that it uses to deal out melee damage as well as shoot out orbs of electricity. Its left arm is equipped with a hard light shield that can block incoming attacks. The Shellwalker's attacks, both ranged and melee, are augmented with shock damage thanks to its power generator located on the machine's underbelly. So where can you find Shellwalkers. Well, Shellwalkers only have two dedicated machine sites on the map where you can consistently find them. The first site is high in the Snowy Mountain Ridge just north of the Tanakh settlement of Stonecrest. Here, you can typically find three Shellwalkers with no other machines nearby. The second site is a Shellwalker convoy which can be found wandering around the cliffs of the Cry Peninsula. This convoy is comprised of a single Shellwalker being escorted by two Red Eye Watchers. While there are only two dedicated machine sites, Shellwalkers frequently spawn in the valley north of the Bulwark as well as the cliffs of the Cry Peninsula. Next, let's take a look at the machine catalog entry for the Shellwalker and its variants. Shellwalker, a level 18 transport midweight machine, a resilient transport machine. It prioritizes defending the cargo on its back by activating an energy shield with one claw while firing shock attacks with the other. It is weak versus acid damage and strong versus fire and shock damage. Notable loot includes sparker, metal shards, crystal braiding, sturdy hard plate, machine muscle, medium machine core, shellwalker circulator, braided wire, shellwalker primary nerve, and metal bone. Now let's take a look at the machine catalog entry for the only other variant of the Shellwalker, the Apex Shellwalker. Apex Shellwalker, a level 29 transport midweight machine, a hunter-killer variant recognizable by black and gold armor plates and purple muscles. It has been modified to be significantly more resilient and deadly. Similar to the regular variant, it is weak versus acid damage and strong versus fire and shock damage. Loot remains similar to that of the regular variants, however with the addition of a 100% drop rate for crystal braiding, a 53% drop rate for Apex Shellwalker hearts, and a 50% drop rate for volatile sludge. Next, let's study the Shellwalker's weak points so that we can exploit them in battle. Battle. The Shellwalker Shield Claw, located on its left arm, generates a large defensive energy barrier. Break the shield temporarily by damaging it or detach the claw to permanently disable. Cargo clamps on the back of the machine's carapace hold the Shellwalker's precious cargo container in place. Destroy the clamps to release the crate so you can loot its valuable resources. If the crate is not looted, the Shellwalker can actually pick it back up and hold it in place using its lightning gun claw. In order to release it again, you'll have to detach or destroy the lightning gun. Be careful not to damage the crate as this can destroy it, leaving you empty-handed. These crates also sport the marking for the cauldron the Shellwalker is produced in. Take a look! A lightning gun claw is located on the machine's right arm and can be used for both melee and ranged shock attacks. Destroy it to disable these attacks. Some shellwalkers spawn with antennas which act as signal transmitters to call in reinforcements. Destroy or detach it right away to prevent this ability. Finally, the Shellwalker's power generator located on his underbelly acts as the machine's power source and powers shock attacks and the shield. Destroy it to trigger a shock explosion as well as disable shock abilities. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with the Shellwalker's attacks. The Shellwalker doesn't have many, but they can be devastating on higher difficulties if not dodged. Here you can see its ranged lightning gun attack. Simply zigzag to avoid it. Next up is its right-handed punch-jab uppercut attack. As well as its right-left punch and ground slam attack. Get too close and you'll find yourself in the wake of its devastating electric discharge. Even while using its lightning gun to hold up its crate, it can still use a majority of its attacks. Take everything you've learned in this video and you'll be taking down even Apex Shellwalkers with ease. The Shellwalker can indeed be overridden, however you will first need to clear Cauldron Chi and obtain its overrides. I will now demonstrate overriding a Shellwalker in the wild. We're of course going to be setting it to aggressive. Let's first see how it does against an Apex Shellwalker. This match will get red hot. Now go! Now 
Next round is a couple of red eye watchers. And for the main event, we pit our overridden shellwalker against some fire claw striders. Our overridden shellwalker managed to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee, but in the end it just wasn't enough. But there's no doubt that a shellwalker makes a worthy override. What do you think of the shellwalker? Let me know in the comments below. I love the fact that while small, this machine sure is mighty. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications so you can catch my next video or live stream. As always, I'm Noxious Asp. Thanks for watching.